Hey, what's up everyone? It's Brian for GumballTech.com and in this video I'm going to be, well this video is going to be uh, maybe one of three or four videos for the Tr MacBook Pro Triple Boot with Snow Leopard, Windows 7, and Ubuntu. Make sure you have a backup of everything as well because if something goes wrong and all your stuff is gone and you don't have a backup, then tough luck. Should have backed up. So the first thing you need to do, or the first step to the entire process, involves doing some things in OS X. So first we need to install Refit, which is going to be the bootloader that we will be using to boot three operating systems. So open up your browser, go to Google, and type in Refit. Then click on the first one that shows up. Now you need to be you need to download Refit 0.13 the Mac disk image. Once it finishes downloading, just go ahead and install the package. If it asks you to reboot, don't do it. Just minimize the installer or something until the time comes. Once you install Refit, we need to partition the hard drive into three partitions. So to do that, we'll be using Disk Utility, which you could access from Spotlight. Now, in the left-hand column, click on your drive. It's usually something from Hitachi, so click on that. And then in the middle area, click on Partition. Now, something is wrong with my copy of Disk Utility, so what you need to do is add two extra partitions. So you should have three as shown here. Now, make sure that the make sure they're both fat as the file system, and then just size everything out the way you want it, and then click on Apply in the lower right. It will then uh, partition your drive the way you want. And then once it's done partitioning, you should end up with three partitions on your desktop. Now, since I've already done this, I only have two for one for Snow Leopard and one for Windows 7. Since Ubuntu uses ext4 as the file system, it can't be recognized by OS 10, so it won't show up unless you get some third-party tool. Um, for Linux, I recommend anything over 6 gigabytes. For Windows, anything over 30 would be good. So, and then when you're looking at your partition uh, scheme, make sure that the partition that you want to use for Linux is in the middle like the first one on top is OS 10 the next one is Linux and then the next one is Windows 7 so when you're sizing out your partitions make sure that your Linux one is in the middle and it is of the size that you would like um, my Linux partition is 15 gigs I don't use it that much I just use it to play around in and uh, maybe little experiments here and there so I didn't make it that big. Windows 7 and OS 10 for me are both around, I don't know, a couple hundred gigs or something like that. Maybe 250, uh, no, not 250, maybe uh, 242 or something like that. So anyway, uh, the next step is to go and install Windows 7, which I will show you in the next video after this. I don't know when that's going to be up, so just hang tight. Uh, it's not that hard actually. All you have to do is put in the installation DVD and install it to your Windows 7 drive. But it might be confusing at first because you have to format it to NTFS and things like that. So that's it with the first video of maybe three or four on how to uh, turn your MacBook Pro into a triple boot solution. If you have any questions, leave it here in the comments and I'll try to answer them as uh, good as possible. So. Thanks for watching. We will see you in the next video.